Well, let's start with this example. We have already done 1, 2, 3 and 4. Let's start with this. So I'm copying the complex ones. First, please, I, it's a request. Please watch all these videos. Then only come back to this. Just generally don't go and click that video. You will not understand what I'm trying to explain. So here cobalt is given to us. This is not carbon monoxide. It is cobalt. Capital C, small o. So cobalt, atomic number 27. Configuration 3D7, 4S2. Let's start. So step one, I always said step one is calculation of oxidation state. Oxidation state. This is important of the central metal ion. Take this example CO F6 minus 3. This is your complex. This is X. This is an anionic ligand. Minus 1 is a charge plus 6 into minus 1 is equal to minus 3. Plus 3. I've got the oxidation state as plus 3. Let's start. When I have to do the step 2, take nickel, write the ground state. What is the ground state configuration which is given? It is 3D7, 4S2. Now start drawing the orbitals 1, 2, 3, 4 and 4S. This is 3D, this is 4S, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Fill according to Hunt's rule please. 4S is 2. Done. Now what is oxidation state? Plus 3. So nickel plus 3 is oxidation state. Now I have to take out electron. Where will I take out? Very important. Most of the students do a mistake here. So let's first write. Light this then come back. <coughs> I have to take 3 electrons, 2 from here. This becomes 4F0. I have to take 1 electron from here. This becomes 3D6. Now the question is from where is it going to lose electrons? Just observe. 2 electrons from here and the third electron is from here. Most of the students take out electron from here. Wrong. These two and this electron. So how does this look? Now it's losing three electrons. Yeah. Again, let us draw this. One, two, three, four, five. Now four s has become zero because it has lost two electrons. This also is lost from here. This electron, please. Not this one. So start filling. One, two, three, four, five and six. Look here. 3d6. Over. Now what happens, your <laughs> fluorine star comes and you know it has to delete its own pair of electrons. I have to make the orbitals available. So your fluorine comes. So how many fluorines do we need? Six, isn't it? So I need six empty orbitals. Now before writing that, you should get it out. Ma'am, can I pair up? Pair up and use it. You have to be very careful. What is the nature of F fluorine? When I see, see the spectrochemical series, your fluorine is a weak field ligand. F minus, Cl minus, Br minus, I minus, all are weak field ligands. When it is weak field ligands, no pairing occurs. You have to remember this, learn the spectrochemical series, then only learn this concept. So when no pairing occurs, I should not even touch this, I should not even pair up. Careful. So how many fluorines? Six. This is S, this is P, then I need how many? <coughs> I need six. So one fluorin here, second fluorin, third fluorin, fourth fluorin, fifth fluorin, sixth fluorin. So this is 4s, 4p, 5d. Done. Now careful. Now observe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Over. Yeah. Let's see. <coughs> These three will hybridize what type of hybridization s 1 2 3 p 3 2 d's d 2 done i am done with the hybridization i have to finish up the answer by writing all the parameters how many parameters i have to write i have to write all so careful so what are the parameters first important thing i have to write the nature what is the nature? Paramagnetic or diamagnetic? It is paramagnetic. What is the type of hybridization? SP3 D2. So SP3 D2. So next important thing. What is the geometry? In the geometry when I see how many ligands are there? There are 6 ligands. 6 means all the 6 corners. How? Like you know CO 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So what is this? The shape? Octahedral. So geometry is octahedral. 
done <coughs> next important thing you have to write type inner orbital or outer orbital complexes the type is it's going out isn't it it's not coming and pairing up because it is a weak field like that so this is outer orbital complex outer orbital complexes done what shell should I? I should I have to calculate uh, your uh, mu mu value, isn't it? So everything is over mu s is equal to root n into n plus two. Number of unpaired electrons one two three four root four into four plus two. So this becomes six twenty four root twenty four, which is equal to 4.8 Bohr magneton that's it so this is how you're going to present your whole answer first most important copy the complex clearly calculate the oxidation state write the ground state write the excited state show the parameters your answer is complete so let us come back we have already learnt so many so what type of hybridization did we get for this this is sp3 d2 <coughs> let's come back into this fe f6 fe f6 copy the complex k fully Ta. yes so in this particular uh, complex when i have to uh, write look atomic number of iron 26 3d6 4s2 correct yes let's start First step calculation of oxidation state. Calculation of oxidation state. So Fe okay. F6 minus 3. This is X. Fluorine is minus 1. This is equal to minus 3. X minus 6 minus 3. X is equal to plus 3. 3 is your oxidation state now let's come back and write the ground state fe with a ground state configuration is 3d6 4s2 now start filling 3d 1 2 3 5 4s2 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 4 s2 <coughs> when you are writing the ground excited state with 3 as an oxidation state how many electrons this is going to lose two electrons from here this becomes 4 is 0 it's going to do one more electron from here 3d5 so for where is it going to lose you have to be careful now two electrons from here and one electron from here please see that two from here one from here so how does this look this looks like 1 2 3 4 and 4s one this is lost one electron and two three are gone all are half filled now 3d now your ligand that is your fluorine starts you know it comes in tries to donate its lone pair so that they hybridize they undergo hybridization how many fluorines are there there are six so first of all you have to see whether should will it pair up or not it will not pair up why because fluorine is a weak field ligand weak field ligand and no pairing up it will not pair up you have to be careful here this concept you have to clear so this is weak field it will not pair up nothing to do with d orbital so how many six isn't it one this is 4s 4p your d now how many are there six one two three four five six so what is this hybridization now all will hybridize what type of hybridization sp3 d2 one two three four five six six florins now that's over now i have to write the type of that parameters isn't it what are the parameters first parameter is what is the nature when i have to uh, uh, write the nature this is paramagnetic in nature because all are unpaid next what is the hybridization same thing isn't it sp3 d2 so the geometry is octahedral 3 4 5 6 it is octahedral 
after that i have to say whether it is inner orbital complex or outer orbital it's going outwards so the type is octa the type is outer orbital complexes outer orbital complexes because it is going outwards what else is left so one is over two is over three outer orbital complex i have to calculate mu mu s which is equal to root of n into n plus 2 right so what is the number of unpaid electrons you have five So the, all the parameters are given. If you are careful, write everything. Step 1, step 2, step 3, step 4, this one and outer orbital complex. Okay, one more thing you have to write. Whenever it is weak field like and I said no pairing occurs. If no pairing occurs, they are high spin complexes. So where should I write? I will write here outer orbital complex and high spin complex. That's it.